Well, there's not too much that I can say about this album cover, really, so feel free to talk about Fallout 4 in the comments section. That shit has taken over my life. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmatterssite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is an indie album review for Brandon Lee Richardson's album, Farewell. Now, Brandon is an R&B singer out of Yonkers, New York, so to find out more about him, peep his social media sites and links, and of course, listen to his music, because you gotta do that, just take a look at the information posted underneath this video. Now, this project has a very smooth and clean R&B sound, and it all starts off with the song, Falling Skies. On this one, right away, Brandon shows off his great vocals that have a very soft and delicate feel to them, and the beat has a similar vibe as well, as it has this pulsating kick and some light keyboard keys. And you can also hear that the sound quality here is great, so he's not messing around with this album, and it's very high quality. After that song, we get vibrant, and this starts off in the same way as Falling Skies, more or less. Some pulsating kicks and light keyboard keys. But then the beat swings into full effect, and these synths come in to give it a little bit of an electro, bouncy vibe to it. And I really like this production a lot, because it's also kind of funky. It just feels really good. But then on the hook, Brandon sings, Don't Say That You Love Me. So this song also has a little bit of a bleak feel to it, and some of these other songs do as well, at least if you pay attention to the lyrics. Like on Outer Heaven, where we get another soft and bouncy track, and here Brandon is singing about his insecurities and just how he thinks too much and is overthinking things. And the way I took this song was, you know when you're in a relationship and you're insecure about different things, so it causes you to overthink them in a sense that, oh, what if this person does this, or what if they do that, what if they don't care about me, what if la 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 la. You just overthink things so damn much that usually you set up a negative, self-fulfilling prophecy instead of just going with the flow and the vibe of things. At least that's how I took it. I could be completely wrong here, but that's what I got from this song, and I think there's a lot of relatable relationship-style stuff on here. Like on the song, Different, where Brandon is singing about being led on, so I think people will be able to relate to some of this content, because everybody out there has been through their fair amount of relationships bullshit. And if you haven't, well, sometimes that's for the better, I guess. Just depends on your stance on that. Is it better to have loved and lost than not loved at all? I don't know. It's a whole other topic, man. Do I look like a damn poet to you? Shoot. But one thing I didn't like on the song Different is when Brandon put this deep vocal effect on his voice at one point, it just kind of felt out of place, and I don't think it really felt like it belonged in the track. But overall, this is a very solid and cohesive project. It's only 22 minutes long, and I think that actually works in its favor, because a lot of these songs sound quite a bit alike, so if it dragged on for much longer than that, it could get a little bit repetitive and maybe even boring. So I give this one a 3.5 out of 5. My only other gripe here is that some of the lyrics are a little bit cheesy and corny. Like on Radio Venus, where Brandon croons to a girl that he needs her because she is just his soul and he would climb any mountain for her, but if we're going to be honest here, which I'm always trying to be honest in these reviews, that's the type of content that you're going to get with this classic style R&B. There's always going to be some lyrics that come across as a little bit corny, but as far as I'm concerned, it was nice to have a nice and soft R&B project like this because I'm kind of getting tired of all these artists like Ty Dolla Sign, August Alsina, Chris Brown, etc. And don't get me wrong, I like some of the music that these people make, but every now and then, I want some smooth, classic, old-school type of shit like this. So, if you like that sound, you're going to like this project, and you definitely want to check it out. But that's just what I thought about this one. Check it out for yourself, and let me know what you think in the comments section. And make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Gotta do that, of course. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.